They think this is North Korea, and they think I'm Dennis Rodman, and I'm going to kiss their tyrant butt. But it ain't going to happen. Austin is not the new North Korea. Austin is not the new North Korea. Austin is a place to promote liberty. Yeah! Yeah, good job, folks. Super short notice, everybody coming out here. I was out of town whenever I was told that the South by Southwest people who think they own and run Austin to feed off the trendies. Vampires feeding off trendies that want to be movie stars. They told us that in the city we had no free speech and the job of the hunt Lewis Black owns this town. Well, I'm here to tell you, John of the Hutt does not own this town, and we are here taking back the First Amendment right now. You notice you don't, you don't, you don't see the police down here. They don't want you to know this is North Korea now. This is a smarter tyranny. Not where they come grab you and disappear you real quick. No. Oh, it's the code. You can't have free speech. It's the code. You can't have a bumper sticker on your car. It's the code. You can't do all this. They don't want to openly show the world, the world, what a tyranny Austin has become under the tyrants that pose as liberals that run it. Thomas Jefferson was a liberal. You're not liberal, Austin City Council. You're a bunch of tyrants masquerading who think you can ban free speech on the streets of Austin during your events. And we, the people, are not going along with it, period. We're here to take our city streets back from you. Do you understand? that are scared of it can go straight back to the tyrannies like Nazi Germany and Communist Russia and North Korea Take that you love so much. You know what they want to do? They want to order the police. They want to have bureaucrats order the police to write my street team. Where is my street team? I got better to meet them. They called me up yesterday and they said, we can't have stuff out anymore. They're going to, they've given us tickets and next they're going to arrest us. They told us nowhere downtown. They told us there's no more free speech in America. And, and what are we going to do? They're, they've given us tickets. What are we going to do? And I said, it's all a fraud. I'm coming back to Austin to defend your First Amendment. Yeah. To rally the people. And I salute all of you that showed up in Prop 2 right now. You are awesome. You know what? America isn't dead. The Republic isn't dead. Our constitutional Republic isn't dead. And then when we showed up just yesterday, they were intimidating the men and women we hired to hand out magazines saying we'll arrest you, but now they're not here. They don't want their evil deeds to be seen out in the light of day when they shut down free speech. Let me tell you more. Radio listeners, I'm broadcasting live right now. Are we good radio? Everything broadcasting good? Yeah, yeah, the cops are all listening too. They don't like that fact that we got a radio station right now. And I'm not saying all the cops are bad either, but the point is the higher ups, the tyranny, I know RD Surveyor is not that bad of a guy, but they're being told by the local kingpins that run south by southwest that we don't want anything down there that keeps the money of the yuppies out of our hands. <laughs> and if Alex Jones wants to give out some free videos, we want his people arrested. If Alex Jones wants to get out some free pamphlets, we want it dealt with. We want it taken care of. We want it stopped immediately. Because you don't have free speech in America. You got the right to kiss the big butt of the new world order. This is the type of garbage we're talking about. And let me tell you, driving in here, I ran into CBS News, the reporter that's been trying to get a hold of me today, and she said she talked to the police. CBS News, right there doing a live shot right now. It brought, I went up and talked to her, went out over the radio. And she said, hey, here's my notes. The police said they were told to enforce this, and they don't think the ordinance is constitutional, but they were told to stop your free speech. And they're going to do the right thing that they should have done and not try to intimidate people because they don't want that Tiananmen Square image of people who say no to their tyranny. They want to sneak it in under the radar. But we're not letting them sneak it under the radar. We're not going to let them. That's right. That's right. It's a mafia that runs 
Texas, all I've tried to do is hand out 10,000 free copies of my magazine, and according to the police and code enforcers, the organizers of this con conference put pressure on them to come down here and say that I can't hand out my magazine on taxpayer paid for streets. But I'll tell you the good news. I've now had a chance to talk to the police, and I've had a chance to talk to other media that's talked to them, and they said they refused to enforce it about an hour in after higher up saw what they were being told to do. So again, even the police do not want to enforce absolutely North Korean style incredible police state tactics that right here in Austin, Texas, that they have the nerve to try to tell us that we have no free speech in Austin, Texas, and that we cannot hand out literature and information down here, the God-given right, not just of Americans, but all free people worldwide. We are defending the First Amendment against enemies, foreign and domestic, and we will hand out magazines, and we will have publications, and we will have free association and free expression. We will stand up against an authoritarian city that believes we have no First Amendment. And I salute all of you for coming out here. The First Amendment will never die. 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 Oh, I got you. Oh my God! You're calling more reinforcements. We've got evil Americans talking. Oh my gosh! More police are coming. We've got evil Americans talking. Why? Just yesterday we were told we'd be arrested if we talked.
hours a day and play video games. For the first time in their lives, they're thinking about liberty, and they're laughing on the surface, but deep down they know it's true. Hey, where's our street team? This is all the street team. I told them. I told them to ask them. And then, okay. There's a couple of them a block over. There's a couple of them a block over. I got the magazines from them. Oh yeah. 